hi guys welcome back today we will see some of the new features and uh, or you can see some of the exclusive or the best features for the lineage OS which is actually the unofficial lineage OS that I have showed you so we have seen how you can install that so I'll put the link of that video you can see how you can install it actually the lot of changes have done uh, I've taken the long way to install it but anyway that depends on the kind of situations the situations and to find out these new features 15 plus new features I have taken reference of the Google stock and write 7.1.1 running on the pixel XL and also the one oxygenous 4.0.2 which is version to the 7.0 of the android running on the oneplus 3t right here in front of you you can control for how long you want your capacitive key slide to be turned on by default if you are in oxygen os and running on the oneplus 3 oneplus 3t devices so uh, your the capacitive lights uh, will just turn on for the five seconds and it closes immediately but here you can just set a time here to the max of 35 seconds starting from the zero seconds to a max 35 seconds you can control for how long uh, you want to get your vibrator to be in the motion uh, whether you are unlocking your device or doing some other actions for example if i just do a tap unlock and unlock here uh, you know you feel the haptic feedback and your vibration motor will turn off so but here you can completely disable the intensity so you won't feel any vibration at all so depends on your preference in case you don't want to guys any disturbance when you lock and unlock simply you can use i'm not feeling any vibration when i'm doing turn locking and unlocking even though there are a lot of applications available that can give you customization for example you can use task or other applications to change your profile or ringtone based on your location your uh, wi-fi or bluetooth by mobile data connection but uh, nothing can beat a default system profiles but we have in all mobile phones that are easily missing in the smartphones you can set your directly silent default at a while it's the same feature that is carried from the cyanogen OS. once you get inside that one you can easily set all the stuff here and if you have task installed you can simply switch to profile you can just create a new app action select your default profile according to time or according to your geography location or based on maybe mobile and wi-fi data status and connectivity you can also control your haptic feedback activity you can simply as you can see here vibrate when a gesture got detected you can simply make it turn off and on so i made it uh, turn on i kind of like it but anyways it's a nice feature you can simply disable the haptic feedback from here the lineage os does support the ambient display features too but if you just go inside this ambient display you will find this it is more organized compared to what you have in the default oxygen os so it's all the features that are mentioned here they are there in the other os's too but they are kind of scattered but it is completely uh, collaborated and grouped in a single feature as you can see here expanded desktop is a nice feature in case your phones are of smaller display size and you have a smaller hands but you don't want to get a feeling of a bigger display so you can easily hide your status bar and the navigation bar completely on the specific app level or you can do it for all application in one shot and if we talk about the battery features and tweaking so i did find that the leading device gives a better way to you know completely feel your and optimize your battery so likewise we don't really bother if we just turn on the battery saver that's it but if you just get inside this battery saver in performance you can see there is extreme power saver mode this automatic power saver mode you can even change the device performance right by default it is balanced you can change it to efficiency you can change it to quick so i just need to uh, you know according to your preferences also you can see automatic optimization so this feature is also there in oxygen OS, but i did found it more you know it's kind of way you can uh, give the features in more a better manner way so that people can easily feel it and enjoy it, this feature the lineage OS gives you a lot of number of options to customize your status bars starting from this icons to the clock position and so many features like hide am and pm the battery circle icons and even though they have the one of the best feature i really like is this is show notification count right now you can see if i just turn that off so i'm not seeing any twitter notification if i just turn that on it shows me exactly the number of tweets i do got it now let's talk about some of the application this is called a screen recorder so lineage OS comes with a built-in screen recorder so this is simple it's not giving you much option but yeah it can get your job now let me take you the quick walkthrough for the launcher that i have here so this is the default launcher that i get here i did not change much so this is all the folders icon and you can actually keep it locked here you can see you can just set your protected apps so it got protected so once you click here it will simply unlock it then you can view the folder getting inside this is the app drawer and you don't get any swipe notifications here like you do have in the oneplus devices which shows you if you get here so it gives you some activity feeling but here you cannot get it anyways uh, nobody uses that so getting inside this is the app drawer you can change the layout and you can actually you can see you can feel it from here how you want to feel and this is what is that getting inside the setting you'll get this widget section 
and also you can configure the settings for the launcher this is where you, you have a lot of options starting from the search bar the icons the scroll wallpaper rotation stuff draw style draw background even though this is not like you can get the fully featured no launcher but it is good with some limitation uh, it is ready to go launcher with some of the best tweaks that you can get in other popular launchers lineages also gives you a privacy guard which is a kind of or you can say antivirus if you're using windows system so it's a kind of windows defender for your android so getting inside you will get this privacy guard protected applications and lineages statics so here you can uh, sign inside in case you want to share static so if you are using this os so it depends on you now getting inside the protected applications we have already seen we can make our this uh, folder lock here and uh, after you can get in here you can simply use the same pattern or you can take your fingerprint so right here you can see uh, this is the chrome uh, it is dis disabled here and i can see here my chrome came to here i can easily launch it i'll show you guys one important feature here now if I go back here, if I get inside and lock my Chrome again, so it simply overkills from here and you can see the Chrome is gone and even it is uh, disabled from your app uh, drawer too. So it's very nice feature. You can completely remove the application but only place you can view it is after coming to the app section. And also I will show you some new here. Once you get inside you can see, you can see so, uh, a lock here that means the application is being locked. It's very nice integration here. Actually, this is called intelligence when you design any OS. So very great stuff here. Now this feature called the live display, especially for the users who really are conscious about the type of display they want. I really don't matter anyways, but I found this is very helpful. This is called a live display and it shows you optimize the screen based on the time and day. And it is working pretty great here. You can see first of all you get the color profile, what kind of things you want. So you can easily configure that. I just left it to standard. Also, display mode is here. You can if you just select it automatically you can see based on the time condition here it just uh, turned into kind of night mode if i just do it and turn that off you will get that feature here anyways i'm just leaving it to turn on maybe you guys can see it better here and also you will get this color calibration picture adjustment so many tweaks are there i am not doing much here and also an important feature reduce power consumption so adjust display for the lowest power consumption without degeneration so even though guys these features are there but i am not able to get a more than three and a half, half hour battery sot times still let's see maybe it's the initial build hope in the future you will get a better battery backup with these kinds of custom customization options also let me talk about the notification slide here so all the android phones does have the led notification here but i was just talking about the battery saver stuff here my battery goes below 15 percent and it felt that the led light which is in the red color right now but it shows in different color here it was blinking at a faster rate compared to the what i see in the other Android devices with just blink at a constant rate but it is blinking at a faster rate when the battery is getting low. So this is the another feature it is not major just a small but just thought to show you guys here. So you can change here the color of the sim card you are using. It's not working but I did use some of the old other manufacturer like the Micromax and other. They show here in the status bar that you know if you have dual sim so first time you can configure in one color and second in another color. Sometimes it is very helpful to actually to just feel it like uh, instead of reading as a number one or two so colors always looks better on the status bar anyway guys these are uh, some near to 18 to 19 features that i did found out so there may be some other tweak and small features too but i thought not to show you guys here and some of the things that i did found here first of all there is no just just features like you have in oneplus 3t devices if you just here if you do a three finger drive swipe here you can take the screenshot that is one of the nice feature but this is not here you need to use physical keys and the memory management is not great here i do use youtube creator studio to you know reply to all you guys in a lot of comments here but uh, each time i come to this device i found it my lot of applications or regular applications are keep on reloading which i'm not getting in some other devices here and there is no dash charging support when i'm plugging my dash charger it's not showing me as a dash charging simply shows charging so i'm not really sure it is working or not but yeah it takes uh, nearly the same time nearly two hour to you know charge the device completely now let's talk about the battery management here so i'm not able to get much backup uh, what i felt here even though i'm not able to do a complete 100 percent charge and discharge but i felt that i near to cut near to three and half hour max of screen on time so maybe it is this initial stage of the lineage os or the 14.1 hopefully in the future builds you might get a better battery backup so that's it guys for this video for the lineage os so this is the thing i did found out and i do have a lot of comments to try out some other OSs too like me ui 8 and the corrections remix so let me know in the comments which one you do like me to try that out so this is sort of
that's it thanks for watching we'll catch you next video have a great day